squad happy vlogmas day 17 you are now tuned in with trophy go trophy we can laugh crack toes be open go trophy only with trophy look at me my matching baby we got a matching pajamas jenny jenny jenny's I got these pajamas from Carter's. Mine was $10, his was $5. It was like a Black Friday deal or something like that. We look so cute, huh? You ready? One, two, three. Hey, Trope Squad! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Say hey, Trope Squad! Say I missed you, Trope Squad! You missed the troll squad? Oh, he's ready to get on the move. Today, you guys, we are doing a QA. and a <laughs> Why are you sitting like that? Look at his little feet. <laughs> I asked you guys on Instagram to send me your questions, and I also asked you guys on YouTube. So I'm going to go to Instagram first. The first question is from Mrs. Juicy. She says, how does it feel when Terrell is out of town working? How do you manage? When he's out of town, I miss him, but we talk like every single day, all day on FaceTime. So you guys know I don't work, so I'm available to FaceTime him all the time. So it really doesn't feel like he's that far away. But at nighttime, sometimes I get lonely and it's like, I'm just all alone sleeping in the bed by myself. But then again, I'm also like, um, a person that likes to be alone i'm used to living alone and being on my own in my own apartment for years and years so it's not that hard and i do like my own space sometimes but the times i get lonely and i just want to have him there with me it gets a little sad and also when i want help with terrell and it kind of feels overwhelming but um i guess i just think about our end goal because we don't plan for him to be on the road forever. It's like a temporary thing. So he's not gonna be on the road forever. Eventually we want him to come back and be local. So we have some goals in mind and things that we can place. And right now we just gotta deal with it. And eventually it'll all come together. So yeah, it's just something I gotta deal with right now. Oh no. Alicia Allen 423 says does Terrell do well being left for other people when you aren't in his sight yes he does fine like this little baby is so friendly he, he'll let anybody pick him up he'll let anybody hold him Terrell said that he doesn't like being around men I, I didn't really like observe it but from what I saw he always likes to be held by anybody he'll just go to anybody um I haven't really left him alone alone with people, but like when we're at parties and stuff, like Thanksgiving, I have him. Everybody was just holding him and he was just with them. He was just doing just fine. But being alone with people, the only person he's been alone with for a certain amount of time was my little sister. And that was months and months ago. He was really small, but now I don't know because he hasn't been alone with anybody other than his dad. Say, hey, 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 hey. 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 Next question. How many more children do you want? Oh, this is from, I need to remember to read the people's names. Lavishly Shay. She says, how many more children do you want? And do you want more before you're married or after? I want two or three more kids. No, 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 not two or three more. I want all together to have three kids at the most. So one or two more kids and do I want to be married before uh I don't mind having the kid before I get married oh. Kiki Kiki do you love it hey she said can you also share can you also share your labor and delivery story one day do y'all want to see my labor and delivery story I know a long time ago I was like um I was gonna do my labor and delivery story in my vlog I had actually planned and sat down and filmed it but I was stuttering so much in the video. I had to do so many chops and so many cuts. And that was the day that Terrell was being super, super cranky. And I had a, a little meltdown, a little breakdown when I was crying because I couldn't film. And he just needed me. So I just didn't even put that video up. But yeah, I could do the uh, labor and delivery story. I'll probably just include in a vlog or something and just tell y'all my experience because it was, it was crazy. Yeah, I never sat down and um, talked to y'all about it. So yes, I will be doing that. Yes. 
Um, Kiki, she okay, okay. I see Kiki again. She said after TJ was born, he had a scar on his head. You said you were going to explain it at a later date. Oh, so she, yeah, she's talking about the um, yeah. So when I can tell y'all that part. I can tell y'all that part right now. Terrell, he had, um, he was born with vacuum suction. Yeah, it was vacuum suction, and they had to put this thing around his head, like right here, to try to pull, or right here, I don't know how it was, to try to pull him out of me. While I pushed, they were trying to pull him out at the same time, and he ended up getting a cephalotoma, set up philatoma. Um, let me look it up. What's this? Cephalohematoma, a cephalohematoma, and that is a it is a traumatic super steel hematoma that occurs underneath the skin in the what's all these words? Paris periosteum periosteum of the infant's skull bone. So it's like um I don't know. He just had a scar from the pull of the vacuum suction bag suit. Basically, and it took maybe like a month or so to heal. And it's still, you can still see it. Um, you can still see like the line on his head where the scar was. Like a person that didn't know can't see it really. They wouldn't be paying attention to all that, but I can still see it. So it's still there. And uh, but his hair is growing over it. So yeah, when he was born, he had like a little scar. And, and they gave him a cone head when they was pulling him out like that. Always Gracious said, will you ever put baby Terrell in daycare? Uh, you never know. I mean, I'm ne never gonna say never, but if I do put him in daycare, I'm definitely gonna do my research on the daycare, make sure it's a good place, make sure they ain't have no incidents. Hopefully it could be the kind that has like a cameras or something like this, so I can like check in and see what they got going on. Cause people in daycares, I mean, what you see in the news, it gives daycares a bad rap and it's scary because you never know what people could do, what kind of mindset they're in. And of course, babies and young children are like so small. You can really just get over on them because they can't talk or if they can, then they, they like, they can be intimidated by adults. So, um, I just have to make sure if I do put them in daycare that it will be like a really good daycare. But for, for right now, since I'm at home, then I don't plan on putting them in daycare no time soon. Reflux in Lifestyle says, what is your vision board for 2020 goals for next year? So my goals for the year, I haven't really even thought of. I need to write them down because I'm going to I'm gonna reach my goals. One goal I have is to obviously get to 100K on YouTube. But that's not even a 2020 goal because that's going to happen within hopefully in the next month or so. Y'all, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. Okay, anyway. As I was saying, maybe like my goal could be like 250,000 on YouTube or something like that. Or uh, 500,000, that's a big goal. And just to save like a certain amount of money to pay off um, my dad, I guess, uh, to be a great mom. That's my main goal, be a great mom to Terrell. Make sure that he's a smart little baby and do all I can to make sure that he, he succeeds and he's where he's supposed to be and just give him all the love and support. Um, be more, I do have a goal that I want to be more. I have a goal that I want to be better all around socially because I like to stay to myself and I usually, I'm usually at the house, y'all. Most of the time y'all see me in vlogs, I'm at the house with the baby, but I want to get out more, do more stuff, uh, hang out with my friends more, hang out with my family more, stuff like that. So that's the goal to be more social because I just, I'm just such a loner. I just close myself off. I just really enjoy my own space. It's, I just like my own space. I just feel content, but I know that I need to have those social relationships because sometimes I do be feeling lonely even though i am a loner i want to read a whole bunch of audiobooks learn new information um hmm. i wouldn't say buy a house this year but i want to work towards getting the house uh and just overall happiness just like being happy being content with what i have because although you may have goals you're trying to work towards it it's important to just be happy where you are right now so that no matter what goal you have and when it does come that you'll be happy when you get there because if you're unhappy where you are when you get to the next level you're gonna find something else to be unhappy about so i just want to have inner happiness inner peace which i think i'm doing pretty good overall i'm a pretty happy person but can always be better less uh, less stress less anxiety yeah less anxiety but yeah that's just a few of my goals 
Queen Waterline says, do you have a hair care routine for your handsome prince? No, uh, not yet. Yeah. I don't have one. Um, Is he still too young? I need to look that up. Is he still too young to put like products in his hair? Cause right now all I put in his hair is coconut oil. Um, But I might start putting some products in his hair because y'all know he has a little patch. A little patch that likes to just stick up all the time. So I want something to like, you know, lay his hair down a little bit and then maybe something to define his little curls cause his hair is growing. So he, he might have a routine coming up. But right now all I do is put coconut oil on his hair and um, just brush it down and I use the Shea Moisture shampoo on his hair. The Real Mrs. Augustine says, what is your pumping breastfeeding schedule? Uh, for the last few days, y'all, my schedule, before before the last three or four or five days when I said my milk supplies been going down, my pumping schedule was just to breastfeed all day long um, and just only pump at night and that's when I would save a, a bottle, I mean like a bag of milk so I could put in the freezer for him. And um, that's all I was doing. I was mostly just like letting him latch on and stuff. But now since my supply is low, I've been pumping every two hours, every single two hours. And um, sometimes after I pump, I'll let him latch on just so he can get the extra because you know the pump doesn't um, take everything away. And then I've just been giving him bottles because I want to see exactly what he's drinking because I can't see what he's drinking. And sometimes like he'll breastfeed and then I'll pump after and it's still stuff in there. So I don't know. I'm not sure, so I've, I've been giving him bottles um, the past few days and pumping a lot. My nipples are sore. Okay. I mean, you didn't, you probably the next day you probably didn't want to know, but I had to share it. Somebody has to know. I can't believe Terrell is doing so good. He's standing on me. Let me not, let me not jinx it. Hello, B BB Kennedy says hello. I don't have a question, but you guys are just the cutest. Thank you, girl. Shella, Shella Payne says, "How many kids do you want?" Three. Simply NCS says, "How many months was Baby T when you started solid food?" He was four and a half months. Alicia Allen, Alicia underscore Allen four two three says, "How do you cope with Terrell being away for a long period of time?" Love your channel. Yes, yeah, so I kind of already answered that, y'all. How do I actually cope with it? I guess just FaceTime. FaceTime is amazing invention. When you see somebody all day, every day on FaceTime, it just feels like you're together because you can see their face, you see what they're doing. I can see when he shows me like the stuff that he's doing on the road. We go, I go in the store with him, like all day, every day. We just FaceTime, and then he doesn't miss anything with Terrell. I send him videos all the time, talk all day, and then I just count down the days. If he's gonna be back in two weeks, then I just like count down the days, and it goes by pretty fast. It's not that bad, so. Yeah. And remember, I'm keeping the end goal in mind, knowing that this won't last forever. Will you ever do a meet and greet? I want to be able to do a meet and greet, but I'm just so shy. I'm so awkward. I met a few of y'all before. Uh, oh, shout out to the lady that I met in um, Target. What was her name? Let me see if I can find her name. Her name was April Ray, and I met her at Target, and she was so sweet and just so nice. And I was just so awkward. I was like, hi, hi, thank you. <laughs> It's so nice meeting you. Oh my god, we live so close to each other. Wow. But yeah, I'm just so awkward in front of people. I just just always smile and just like, hey, hi. <laughs> but yeah, I want to do a meet and greet, but it's gonna it's gonna come over time once I grow as an individual. That was black culture proud something. I can't see the whole name. That's who asked it. And then she also asked another question. She said, Would you like to have another child? go back to teaching yes i would like to have another child and i can never say never that i won't go back to teaching but i don't want to go back to teaching so what was your and this is her again she said what was your main fear about becoming a mother would you like to get married my main fear about becoming a mother i guess i just had the fear of birth the fear of childbirth and the pain i was just so afraid of that and i just oh, i just couldn't stop thinking about it oh my goodness i was like the pain I hate pain. Um, but actually, being a mother, you want to be put. You can go. You can go. But actually, being a mother, um, I didn't really have a fear about it beforehand. I guess my fear would just be that my child would. I just want my child to just do the best that they can do in life and to succeed and stay out of trouble and stuff. So, I guess my fear is that they wouldn't do that. And they wouldn't be uh successful but i know they will because i'm gonna lay the foundation 
the groundwork so would you get married yes i would get married can you talk more about your teaching career in college this is from queen nari um my teaching career okay so i went to college i graduated college in 2013 and that was in spring of 2013 i started my uh first teaching job in the fall of 2013 i taught second grade all my years of teaching and i taught second grade at my first school for two years which i hated that school it was absolute worst situation worst experience of my life those kids were <sighs> they stressed me out so much like so so much so much and then i went to another school for four more years for yeah for four more years and i love that school i also taught second grade but um it wasn't necessarily school or anything or it was just the whole teaching situation the whole vibe that i was over with it wasn't exactly the school if i was to go back to teaching i would want to go back to that school so yeah that was my teaching i taught second grade for all my years all six years uh um i mostly taught reading mostly taught reading my first year i taught like science social studies and social studies and language arts and then i taught reading after that yeah just reading and reading and social studies or reading and science so yeah i've been a reading teacher reading second grade teacher for my whole career and if i go back to teaching i want to go back to second grade second grade is like the perfect grade oh my legs Whew, i need to stretch what you want hey hey oh he was trying to come get y'all you can't go you can't go over there look Things even. Let's walk. Let's move. Let's get up and grow. Come on and dance Here with me. Alright. Ooh, back in this painful position. Y'all, I'm getting old. Her ma'am, her ma'am, his seer, said, Did you plan your pregnancy? No, I did not. <laughs> the camera about to die. Let me take this out. Look at him. Hey, fat man. <laughs> hey, hey. Cutie, cutie, cutie. All right. Jody's Berry said, "How did you make your oh? How did you make your transition from your from your known life to being a mother?" Um, I guess like when you when you're a mother, it just automatically happens. It's just something in you, and you're like, y'all know, it's like your motherly instinct. It's just something you just become a mother. I was so afraid because I didn't know what to do. With a little baby, I was like, oh my god, what am I gonna do with this small little baby? But when the baby comes, it's like, this is my child. This is my calling. This is me. So you just you just do it. Um you just do it. See how I did that? That's that mother reflex. Oh y'all can't see. Look, look, that hand just caught him. The hand it just caught. That's that mother reflex. I didn't have that before. But I will say sometimes, sometimes I do miss like my old life and the freedom and everything. So it is still like a transition to like know that that's not my life anymore. This is my life. I'm always going to have my baby around me. I'm always going to have to worry about him first and stuff. So that's kind of a transition. But I mean, it's my reality. So I just have to do it. So yeah my lovely tiana says how are you doing mentally by the way you are my fave i love you and your family thank you girl how am i doing mentally um i think i'm doing pretty good my little motivational books they really help me like listen to motivational books and positive words and stuff that actually help you grow is so so good some days i may feel a little down but for the most part i have like 99 percent of my days are really good so i'm happy and look at that smile oh y'all can't even see it a little gummy smile. How can I be not be happy with your gummy smile? DJ Mommy Nine says, "What do you use more often for your hair and face?" For my hair, for my hair, I use Camille Rose Almond J Twisting Butter for all my twist outs. That's what I use for my twist out today. And then I use the leave-in conditioner, the Curl Love Milk. And for my face, I just use Cetaphil to wash it, and I use a uh, um um aloe vera oil aloe vera gel and that's basically it oh and pond's moisturizer i don't got that many uh products i use god's bear she says what does mom what does mommy self-care look like i don't know girl you tell me you tell me because i don't know what that is 
I don't know what that is. Y'all, I don't know what that is. Y'all see, I barely get my nails done. Why, why I said, oh, can y'all see the chip nail? <laughs> I just been sitting here the whole time. I got a chip nail, okay? Don't judge me, and I'm not taking this part out. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't I don't know what mommy self-care look like. I need to do more <laughs> self-care, but I don't. My self-care is having a nice glass of wine when Terrell goes to sleep. Mm -hmm. Self-care. God's bear. Said, will you ever put baby T in preschool? If so, when? <laughs> yeah, preschool. Yeah, I want him to go to school as early as pop maybe like three or four. When does Head Start start? Four or three? I think. Cause I, I want to Head Start. I want him to go to something like some type of early program. Maybe at three, so he can be advanced and he can, you know, start learning as soon as possible and be in a classroom setting, because. The earlier you start, is like the foundation, when you set the foundation, it really makes a difference. So I'm not gonna wait to, cause I know some parents, they wait till their kid is like in first grade. Cause you, in Texas, you don't have to legally put your kid in school till they're in like first grade. And I just think that's doing them a disservice. So as soon as possible, as early as possible, I want him to go to some kind of school. She asked, do you have your wedding ideas together for when Terrell pops the question? Um. I know that I want a small wedding and I want like a big dress. Like I wanted to have like one of those princess kind of dresses. Like uh what do you call it? Strapless type dress right here. And then I want it to be like really body form fitting and then like big and white and pretty. And I mean that's all I know. That's all I thought about so far. Oh, and I want like white flowers. I want everything to just be white and just like heavenly. And I want an open bar. So everybody could just drink, have fun. And I want it to be a small wedding, not too big. And maybe outside, maybe like on a summer's night and have like the little twinkle lights and stuff. But yeah. <laughs> and she said, okay, no more questions, but I love your channel. You have a beautiful family. God bless. Thank you. T Lovely 35 says, what hair care products do you wash and condition with? Your hair is so beautiful. Wash it and condition. I use, thank you. Um, <laughs> thank you, I forgot to say thank you. Washing and condition, I use whatever, really, whatever I have in here. It doesn't really uh, matter that much as far as what I wash and condition my hair with. I just care about my leave-in and what I put in after. But right now, I'm like in the Dove scalp shampoo and conditioner. is really, really moisturizing. And I like the Mish shampoo and conditioner. Um, yeah. Oh, and I like the uh, Cream of Nature argan oil shampoo and conditioner now that's good i would definitely recommend that how do you and terrell meet we met on the internet y'all facebook he slid in the dms and the rest is history how many children do you already answer that a lot of y'all asking how many kids i want so i'm gonna skip over some of those questions and a lot of them are about how do me and terrell meet and uh do i want to get married um sue dime said are y'all trying for another baby if not when will you yeah, we are, so we're basically just, when it happens, it happens, basically. But there's no, nothing set up in place that'll make it not happen. Unicorn Undercover says, taking any vacation soon? And when you do a Christmas shopping video? Yes, I'm definitely doing a Christmas shopping video, y'all. And it's like nine days to Christmas, and I still have to get gifts for my nieces and nephews and Terrell. So I need to be doing that like today, like right now, while I'm finish, filming this video. Um, and then she said, are you taking any vacation soon? No, nope, I don't have any plan, but I might go on a vacation with my friends like in April for Jordan's birthday. Maybe, we were talking about maybe Hawaii or uh, Mexico. So we'll see. Simplicity93 says, how do you balance breastfeeding and giving your son pureed baby food? Terrell, why don't you play baby toys? Look, here's a baby toy to play with. Let's go for a walk. Pulling out his jeans. So whenever I start introducing foods, it's basically the same thing, except he just eats foods before um, I first feed him or before he gets a bottle. So now he's eating foods three times a day. So in the morning, he'll just nurse and have breast milk. But throughout the day, whenever it's time for him to eat, I always feed him solids first and then breastfeed him. But most of the time, he's still getting mostly breast milk and then we just added the uh, solid foods in. Mrs. Pratt said, does little Terrell have a nickname? 
Chunky Chunky, Chunky Bud, Fat Man, TJ, Torelli. <laughs> Do you think it'll be confusing to call both of them Terrell? Uh, it's already confusing. Like sometimes when I be saying Terrell's name, his dad looks at him or he thinks I'm talking to him. And then people always be like, Big Terrell, or they'll say Little Terrell. So it kind of can kind of be a little confusing, but they figured out. D D Moselle 88 says, Will you and baby will you and baby Terrell go on the road again with his dad? Mm, it was easier to go when he was smaller and he like didn't need entertainment. But I think now that he's getting into everything, he would not be content. So uh no time soon. Drip. Dre TX says, what's your favorite online clothing store? Probably Fashion Nova. I know, basic. Probably Fashion Nova though. She also says, what do you think the hardest part is about being a mother? Hmm. I guess the fact that you have to, it's not about you no more. Like who cares about you? It's all about the baby. So everything is all centered around the baby. You can't just do like wake up and go somewhere. You have to make sure the baby's fed first. You have to make sure the baby's clean, all this type of stuff. So I guess just the constant, just making sure that another human is taken care of and then you gotta take care of yourself. And then sometimes you don't really get to have time to take care of yourself. So I guess just the fact that somebody else comes first all the time. Uh, Vicky Peterson 61 says, do you think you will ever go back to teaching or go to grad school? I don't wanna go back to teaching. I don't plan on it and go to grad school maybe cause I might try to do something else later on in the future. So maybe. Some of these questions are repeat questions y'all. KKYYMMM <laughs> says, how do you enjoy being a mother? I love being a mother y'all. Like. It came at the perfect time. I mean, if I was a mom before this, I would still be happy too. Like, I always want to be a mom and I just love it. It's, it's so much love. A baby just gives you so much love and so much purpose. And it's just an amazing feeling looking at their face every day. And even when they're having a fit oop, and falling on their face, <laughs> it's just like so much love. And you know that they're gonna love you unconditionally for life. Jazzy says, are you going to try any rice cereals with the baby? No, I'm not gonna try rice cereals, but I do give him a, 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 like a oat, it's oatmeal cereal sometimes. But he doesn't really like it. I tried it in his bottle, he did not like it whatsoever. And then sometimes I kind of mix it a little bit with breast milk and make it a thick paste. But I barely use that, but no, I'm not gonna try no rice cereals. CK Washington says, does it get hard without Big Terrell when he's working? Yeah, sometimes it does, cause sometimes I just need a break, I need a breather. When he's here, he does help a lot and he like Let's changes his diaper and feeds him and it's just like, I just get a, a little bit of moments to breathe, which I wouldn't have if he wasn't here. And she also asks, what nickname for baby Terrell? Don't you like people calling your baby? Um, uh, I don't know. Nobody calls him something I don't like. Oh, but people do spell his name wrong all the time, y'all. So public service announcement. His name is T-E-R-R-E-L-L. Terrell. T-E-R-R-E-L-L. It's not T-Y-R-E-L-L. -L. A lot of people always type Tyrell. His name is not Tyrell. It's Terrell. Have you guys talked about marriage? Yeah. And she said, last one, will you be my mom friend? Yeah. And she said, follow back. So I got to follow her. She said, shout me out. Her name is CK Washington. Sierra Lynn Ray. Sierra Lynn Ray says, where are you from? I'm from Houston. I currently still live in Houston. She says, how long have you and Sierra been together? It hasn't been that long. Not even two years. How old are you? I am 29, about to be 30. Tiff Love Light. I think that's how you say it. She says, do you deal with any form of postpartum depression? Oh! Terrell. Oh. Give me, get over here. She said, did you deal with any postpartum depression after the baby? Yes, I did. I made a whole video about it, girl. I'm gonna go check it out. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. 
when baby Terrell gets older, do you plan on going back to work as a teacher? That's what Miss Sam I am. <laughs> Miss Sam I am. That's what she said. No, I don't. Optimistic C says, what is your favorite motivational quote? I like, um, I have um, on my shoulder, this too shall pass. I like that one and I always say it when, when I'm in situations or anything when I'm feeling down. I know that this is just for a moment. This will pass like in a week or so. I may not feel this way or this may not be an issue. So I always think this too shall pass. And then another one I like is don't, smith, don't sweat the small stuff. It's all small stuff. Pretty sure I'm Zora says, what is Terrell's job? He's a truck driver. Miss Andra S says, how did you get Terrell to sleep through the night when he was a newborn? I did not, girl. I did not. He was four and a half months when he started sleeping through the night. And I think newborns considered um, zero to three months. So he didn't sleep through the night um, until four and a half months. And I have a whole sleep training video if you want tips of how I got him to sleep through the night after that time but usually newborns they don't sleep through the night because they have small stomachs and they have to eat every couple of hours it's just part of it the henry's four says i'm a new youtuber i want to know how you build your followers your son is so adorable thank you girl and i built my followers mostly i think by my hair videos i had i started off by doing natural hair videos and those are pretty popular well they were pretty popular when i started so i guess people just like my hair they just like the way it looked and that's how i got a lot of my followers and i got a lot of my followers by being uh reposted like on instagram my natural hair pictures and then people would come from my instagram to my youtube um so yeah and um uh, some tips i guess i have that i need to follow is being consistent like when you're consistent, you post a lot more and then you have more of an opportunity to be discovered by new people. And also something I discovered is to post popular videos. So something that's searchable, like uh, some of my videos that are searchable were really, that were really popular was my labor and delivery video or like my baby favorites video or just like my twist out videos or something. So something that's searchable that people want to see. People don't usually search for vlogs so if you do do a vlog try to make it something that's searchable magdalene 12 says are you and terrell gonna get married anytime soon a lot of people ask me about marriage and if i was gonna get married anytime soon and i don't know like that's not my decision to make the man has to ask the question so y'all don't have to ask him but i do want to get married so whenever that time comes i'll be happy go be free <laughs> Toya W35 said he is your twin. Thank you, girl. That's a compliment because he's so handsome. Oh, okay. Kristen Dominique says pacifier for newborns, yay or nay. I think that's just your decision and what you choose to do. Some people choose not to. We gave Terrell a pacifier when he was newborn, but then he stopped liking him. So he hasn't had a pacifier since like the first week after he was born. So I guess it depends on your baby too. R728, but but I'm glad that he does have a pacifier because when it's time to take him off the pacifier, it won't be a struggle because he's not even on a pacifier. So I don't have to worry about like taking a pacifier away from him or him just being big walking around with a pacifier. MM McClinton says, did your baby get baby acne? If so, how did you treat it? Yes, he got baby acne. Um, like the first couple of weeks, he had baby acne. And then after the baby acne left, he had little white spots on his face. And did i treat i don't think we did anything about it well the doctor just said that it would go away on its own and it did success ofes says do you plan on giving baby to a little sister or brother anytime soon i mean when it happens it happens but i'm ready i want another baby Quamicia says when do you plan on going back to work i am working right now y'all <laughs> jasmine jasmine caldwell says do you have any budgeting techniques or strategies no but i definitely need some like i really need to get better at spending money like that's one of my goals also for 2020 is to be better with my money because i just spend too much i just buy too much when i see stuff i want it mostly just for terrell i'll just buy it um but i guess my technique is just to stay home <laughs> you'll save a lot of money if you just stay home and don't go out because every time i go out i want to buy stuff i want to spend money sequoia says how did you get into vlogging how long have you been doing it um i i guess it's been like a year 
because I started vlogging like in December and I would do it like a little bit maybe once or twice a month and then I just started doing it a whole lot because vlogging is just so much easier than doing hair videos it's so much easier to edit it's so natural and at first when I started vlogging I was so nervous and just felt weird holding the camera and talking to the camera but now I feel like I'm natural it's just like everyday thing to me and I just I really like doing it Kenny B says, do you think you'll breastfeed until he's two? I'm going to try to breastfeed as long as possible, but my milk supply is slowing down. So, if it's not, um, but I'm going to try to give him milk for as long as possible. The Fine Art says, would you please do more cook with me videos? Yes. Chrissy G16 says, has baby Terrell ever had any formula? He had formula his first, maybe like four or five days of life when he was in a NICU. And when, while we was at the hospital, we was at the hospital for like five days. And he had to have formula. But then once we got home, he was straight breastfeeding. I haven't given him formula since. Yo, African Dream says, not a question, but I just want to say that you inspire me so much. Love you, Trove. Thank you. <laughs> Raven Simone underscore says, you got an Android now? <laughs> yeah, I got an Android. So... Dora Ronnie says, did your baby get colic? No, he didn't have colic. Um, Mrs. Obama said, do you want any more kids? If so, what gender? Yeah, I want kids, but yes, I do want a girl and maybe another girl. A girl and a girl. No, a girl and a boy. I don't know. It doesn't matter what the third kid is, as long as I have a girl. Success Bound says, top places to be in... Houston. Okay, my favorite place, as y'all know, I always say it's LA Fisherman. I have delicious seafood. Uh, Papa Dough is pretty good, but it's expensive. I like Papa Cito. It's pretty good. If you like wings, if you like, if you like wings, Pluckers is good. Uh, breakfast places, the Breakfast Club is really good. They have delicious like chicken and waffles and catfish and grits and stuff. And they have another breakfast place called Snooze that's good. Um, oh, they have this good Jamaican place. They have oxtails. It's called uh, Cool Runnings. And it's another place that has oxtails but so food. It's called Esther's. I like that place. Um... Yeah, that's just a few. <laughs> Mrs. Amber Lebec says, does your family ever help with baby Terrell? Um, yeah, they will They will if I ask them to, but I just don't like asking for help. So, yeah. My sister, she'll come and watch him. And I'm pretty sure my mom will help too. But mom got a job. But yeah, I'm pretty sure any, any of them will help and come watch him or anything if I ask them to. Katie All Day says, what kind of diaper cream are you using on your son? I use Aquaphor on him. Melissa Magaviola said, what advice would you give uh, someone who wants a baby but is terrified of childbirth? I would say just still do it and like this too shall pass. Because I was scared of childbirth but the actual moment y'all, it just goes by so fast. Like what can you do? You, the baby has to come out. So just tell yourself the baby has to come out and it's going to be over with. Then tomorrow's going to be a new day. <laughs> Because it's going to happen and it's not really that terrifying in the moment. Especially if you get like an epidural, if you're afraid of the pain, then it's actually really not that bad. <coughs> Alright, alright, you ready to eat? You ready to, what you go, ready to go sleep? Alright, I'm about to answer my last question, y'all. This is from Donna C on YouTube. She says, my questions are, how did you and Big Terrell meet? We met on Facebook, y'all. Where do, you, where do you see yourself in the next five years? In the next five years, probably with at least one more kid, maybe two more kids, and a nice big house, just happy being like a mommy mom, taking my kids to their events and stuff, taking them to school, just being fabulous and happy, just being with my family, um, being financially stable, no worries. Okay, I might always have worries, but just being, being in a better place financially, how do you feel about marriage? How do you feel about marriage? I want to get married. I think marriage is like the ultimate end goal. So I definitely do want to get married. Do you want to have more kids? And if so, how many? Two or three girl. What do you want to accomplish in life? I just want to be a great person, a great like person to people. I want to have good energy and other people can feel it and inspire people, inspire my kids and just enjoy my life. I really just want to be happy and try to live it to the best 
like live it to the utmost be happy travel have family time the important things uh what are your gifts and talents i could do hair i guess i could do hair i, I think i could do hair pretty good talents i used to be able to play the flute <laughs> Do you have a desire to move to another state? No, I want to stay here in Texas so I could be by my family. All right, y'all, that's all the questions that I'm answering today. I got a lot of questions, so hopefully I got to you. If not, then I'm gonna answer them in the next q and I'm gonna try to do these more often so that I won't have like so many questions. And like, I didn't even get around to doing a lot of questions, but I still answered a lot of questions. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just gonna finish feeding Terrell and then put this little boy to sleep. He's falling asleep right now. So yeah, it's time for a second nap. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support on all of my videos, all your comments. I may not always be able to get to your comments, but I see them and I appreciate you. So yeah, as always, I love you guys. Terrell love you guys. Well, I think he just loves the milk right now. <laughs> as always, we love you guys and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.